of all, this is the Blackstone shell. So I can just show you the insides and the difference of what comes with it. This was the stainless steel 36 model. It only has one lighting burner here. So you have to light this one to get all the corresponding burners to light. And this is where the propane tank is kept. And this thing has always been hell to get the propane tank off and on. Okay, this is the actual inside of the Camp Chef. If you can see, there's igniters on each one of their four burners. You also get the deflector plates and a grill set up with this, which I believe is another $100 basically from Blackstone. And if you look underneath it, it also has a grease trap that comes with it for underneath there when you're griddling. And over here, the propane setup was much easier on the Camp Chef than it was on the Blackstone. The other thing I also liked was they had the knobs marked on my Blackstone, if you can see, the, they had the controllers on the outside and that wore off very quickly with the print when you have grease splattering. And I think on the control on the handles, it's gonna last a little longer. All right, Mike, you're on. So. Okay, so on the tank here on this rim, Blackstone's has a half moon with one little slot you have to try and find to put it in there and then still hook it up on top. So I usually set it on the ground until he can mess with this because it's just kind of hard for me to get it. So to try it, but it's getting it up on You got to hook it on the, oh, you got to hook that handle up there too. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You don't have it in the groove yet. I think, okay, you almost have it. It's a situation. Uh, all right, I'll try again. I, okay, yeah, are you putting it in down there? I'm, okay, you're getting it there. Right? Yeah, but you lifted it out now. It's I not know. in it on the bottom. Well, because it doesn't. It's too high to try and get over. I understand. Okay. Oh. You got to get up higher. You're not in it. I know. Okay, there. Okay, but you missed it. Okay, hold on. Did you get it? Hold on. I almost get the top part and over just a little bit. Is it stuck on the bottom? I don't know. Is it in the bottom? No. <laughs> it's because it's not set up right here. Uh, so you have to you have to move this. And it's got two adjustable things. Maybe we can move that down. But boy, it is stuck there. Oh, there, there you is. go. Right. Okay, you got it. Okay. So okay, how was that? Sure when you're hooking this up that it is off you make sure you were being safe when you put this on so. okay so you got it that you only took you a minute and 45 seconds whatever okay that's Let's hook it up making right. sure a brand new tank all right okay and then i usually like to keep that hose down a little bit more but it's all right it's all right, all right. there we go you're hooking it on this now i had him fill these tanks prior today these so. are brand new tanks make sure they're off Get down there. All right. All you gotta do, you have to hook it up first. Right. And there you go. Right there. It's on. Awesome. Yeah. Have that take 12 seconds. Make sure that I have it lined up correctly. Nice and tight. And then slowly All right. turn it on. There you go. To the actual underside of the griddle. This is the Camp Chefs. It has the dual plate across here and all these to hook up to help keep from warping. This one is the Blackstone, which is just a couple of welded angle, what do you call those? Angle iron. Angle irons added to it. Now granted, my Blackstone is three years old and this is relatively new, but this one also has a wind guard that is around it. And then you can see the Blackstones is missing that. This is the drip granite drainage system on the Blackstone. As you can see, the little wire do the thingy in there to help make it drain. Otherwise, it will run down the leg. And this one's the Camp Chef. Thus far, I've had no issues with this staying inside there. Camp Chef has two larger wheels to lift it and move it around. This one has, and these you can adjust up or down to make it level so that you can change how the griddle drains. Two pivoting wheels, but no adjustments for the height variance the level's at it's just a little off with the bubble so that it drains to this side of the griddle i'm gonna get this all cleaned up and ready to go here but you see that on the box now now i'm just gonna move it over to the camp chef i think i have it all set up the same way and this side the bubble is just a little bit on this side of the level because the camp chef drains this direction so that way you can all see this when i get this all cleaned up we'll be ready to go 
I'm Julie. And I'm Mike, and we're Mojo's Crazy Kitchen. Okay. Well, we're going to get to this today. This is going to be my comparison of the Camp Chef and the Blackstone. Mike's going to help me out by putting the bacon on his Blackstone, and I'm going to do it on the Camp Chef here. Okay, and I'm going to try to make sure that these are both similar in temperature. I have a feeling the Blackstone is going to heat up a little bit faster because it doesn't have as much metal underneath the plate, which I will cover, and that is what's happening. We're at about, no, 220 here, and we're at about 320 here. So I'm going to turn this one down just a tad because it's starting to smoke now too. And let this one catch up for just a second. And it won't make much difference because we're going to put the cold bacon on here few things that I'm going to cover. I think that I went over. Um, we'll get started cooking, I guess. It isn't going to make that much big a difference. This is going to catch up. So open up your bacon mic. Whoop. Okay. It's hot between the two griddles there, just so you know. Yeah. Okay. So you got your knife too. Yeah, you got your okay. knife. Yeah, we'll both have to take turns going in the house here and washing our hands after. Okay, we both have the same size bacon here. Put the, yeah. Okay. You have your top bit cut off all the way. I don't have my number later. Cut me, Mick. <laughs> it's my life. Cut me, Mick. Okay, hold on. I'll cut you. Down there. No. Yeah, no, cut, cut the same way I'm cutting. You have lost your mind. Oh, trust me. Got it? Yep. God almighty. You got a thin piece of bacon in there. No, yeah. I hate up. it when it does that. Okay. Okay, anyway, I did buy the thick cut, but this has got a double piece that's super thin on the end. I'm going to start laying this on here, and so is he. Uh, we're just going to kind of show you what we got here. This is both two pounds, I think. What is this? Three pounds of bacon. Mmm, three pounds of bacon. On the... They are... They're supposed to be thick, my butt. This is not no, thick cut bacon. No, it was regular. It's my fault. Is your say regular? I always say thick. Is your say regular or thick? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm this is good. always the worst job of doing the bacon. You were trying to go the other way. It's a lot harder to pull them out long ways. I always cut the bacon long way across the package when I'm adding it because you don't want to stretch it out. You stretch it out, you're never going to have enough room, especially if you're cooking three pounds. And when okay. you're cooking, and when you're cooking, remember that on your BLTs, no less than 13 strips of bacon. <laughs> and if you're superstitious, just go up to 14. I mean, it's all about you being happy with your bacon. Okay. Anyway, so some definite things I can tell you about the griddle differences. I've done a pre-shot of some of the um, uh, things I'm going to highlight that I'll show at the end, or maybe I'll show it at the beginning. I don't know how I'm going to do it with the, um, the comparison yet. Okay, um, the Camp Chef is slightly smaller on the four burner across than the Blackstone is, and the Camp Chef has 12,000 BTU, four of them burners, and the Blackstone has 15. I'm guessing the difference in size makes a difference, but I have talked to an engineer that told me that for the gauge thickness of bacon, or bacon, bacon? <laughs> The, the metal. Yes. The steel. Is, they're both made out of seven gauge rolled steel. My understanding is you're going to get some warpage on something that is 15 BTU um, versus the 12 on the same coverage. So um, I imagine that there's going to be some warpage on both to some degree eventually, but um, so far I haven't noticed anything on the Camp Chef. I do notice that on the Blackstone, which I'll use my phone to take some pictures of later on. Now, uh, I took pictures of both of the um, griddles prior to starting. Um, I'm going to turn mine down just a little bit now. Yours is already down. Uh, what I did, I took pictures of them to show that I have it level on both of them, and I want to fill up this, uh, you want long ways, huh, with them? You don't yeah, worry about it. That way. Okay. I've been telling you for years. Okay. So, I'm you just putting them on here. And we're going to fit what we both can out of our package. And if we have to add or take it away, I'm going to go four deep. You can probably, yeah, I can probably go five. I know it is. It's going to be a lot of, and this is a hot surface, man. Don't let it kid you. It is. Be careful. All right. Now, as they start to shrink, I can add a few more. You really have problems, ain't you? What? You are putting them on there. Does it look like How I'm many do you have across the top? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay. 
three. Yeah, you ain't got what I can get. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I can get one more up there. Mine aren't quite as close. So I can get 16. He can get 18 across. Okay. I have four down on this one, five down. He probably can do uh, two more strips there. Okay, so I'm just going to set this over here. Um, Mike can say whatever he's going to say. I'm going to go wash my hands. Ooh, you know what? I touch my tongs. Yep. So I'm going to wash them. Right so, BLTs. Let's talk BLTs for a minute. Beer. You gotta have beer with BLTs. Um, I don't really think there's a substitute. Hush. So, beer and bacon. Um, it's fun cooking six pounds of bacon because there's only two of us. And I'm probably gonna get four pounds of it myself. So, hey. Hurrah for bacon. I'm going to get mine on here. She's going to be back in a minute. And uh, see what's happening. Hope you all having a great weekend. Get a little drink, eh? I was keeping live television going. Okay, well, get going. I am. They were asking me questions. <laughs> they weren't. No one's on. Okay, huh? no one's on. Okay, so I... Since this is already starting to be fairly cooked, I'm going to scoot it over. I'm going to try to fit the rest of my three pounds on here. Okay. Oh, yeah, these are going to go fast. I'm going to turn you down to low because I'm going to turn you down to... Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I have to go somewhere with this. So that's no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. that one. Just, just set it on top of that one over there. Oh my god. We'll add them in a minute. I don't have to add this right now during the cook. Okay. Did you touch the I gotta go wash my hands. Okay. Alright. So, um, I'm just gonna try to flip these over. This is what I have um, noticed immediately. The drip edge for this one. I made them both level with it just slightly off so that it would come down to this way. Um, well, Mike isn't starting to do that yet. But we're gonna see once how these drain what kind of issues you're talking about with either of the uh, grease drainage if any and so um now from what i understand too blackstone has now come out with a new drip drainage system i don't have the new model i have the old one this is what i can tell you about what i know about this this has always been a pain if you don't have a clip or something in here it will run down the leg which can cause you a lot of other problems. Speaking of that, I'm going to put it down here just in case. Okay, so um, I have not noticed that issue with the Camp Jeff right now. I don't know. Can I see your phone, honey? Yeah. Um, let me see it. Behind. I, where? Oh. Um, right now, the Camp Jeff is starting to drain into the reservoir. And that's what I'm trying to take a yeah. picture or a small video of here real quick. Okay. So it's starting to drain. The black stone thus far I got some puddle. is not doing anything. Well, I have puddle too, but it but takes a little a bit of time before it starts to come. But it is coming down on these. So, all right, these are going to be to the point that they're almost ready. Now, I, I am draining already into my reservoir as this starts this to fill up. This is not the hottest spot right over here. Okay, then I'll side. turn you up a little bit. I had you on low. Yeah. I had mine oh on low God. too. But... So you're trying to keep me back. No, I wasn't. Mine's on low too. Well, I after was just the trying video, to do After it. the video, you'll be like, oh, I know how to cook bacon so much better than me. I got mine on here faster. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so the I'm new, going. what I was saying was, the new Blackstone has a grease yeah. drainage system that's in the back. Oh, yeah. I personally do not like where this came. I cooked on the 22 that had that. What I did not like about it is people walking up to the griddle. Sometimes if they're not griddle, uh, what do I want to say, smart. That they don't understand that that's really hot on that side. My grandkids wanted to grab it when we were putting it together. That's what kind of it kind of bothered me because it's not right by you. You can you can block this off a little bit, which you really I have to be careful. Okay, and um, I do not. So far, I've had a couple windy days out here at the camp, Jeff, and I've never noticed it blowing out. I need this up. You're not getting any power here, or what? I'll give you a little more power. Okay, so um. I'm just on low. I'm about finished here on mine. The griddle temperatures, in all honesty, are very similar. I've had them both up really high and got them into the well 500s um, for well this. 500. Yeah, the, I actually think both of them hit in the sixes. Okay, that's done. 
Um, I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, 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 you're good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm draining, for sure. Now, is there going to be some puddling that happens? Yeah, yeah. That may Because happen. it's sitting around the other pieces of bacon. However, as I pull this off, more of it's starting to run. So, yeah. Yeah. and I noticed uh, both griddles have different hot spots. The Camp Chef seems to be a little bit more towards the side where the propane tank's at. Yep. And the black stone always seems to be right in here. I'm not sure exactly no, well, why, but yeah. it is. I mean, it is. And, and it isn't a tremendous difference in hot spot. I noticed it a little bit less on the Camp Chef than I do on the black stone. The Camp Chef's hot spot definitely is right in the center. Oh, this one's pissing oh. me off. Okay, then turn it up. Are you, are you blow out? No, you're still going. Okay. So, um kind of trying to give an idea there um the other things i will tell you about that i've noticed too um the camp chef comes with its own griddle grill on the inside the yep. blackstone is an additional hundred dollars the blackstone you can order a surround that goes around the griddle okay i've heard that that gets hot the same is like with this wall because you're right by the griddling surface but i don't know why you would ever want to use the one back here because you can't really reach it, and if it gets hot, I think it would be hard for storage. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, I mean, if you love your surround, you love your surround. I have not had a surround, but this works really good on the Camp Chef, and I didn't have to um, purchase anything extra to get that. Um, and I really like the fact that it can dual as a grill, griddle. And grill if you're not too. paying extra for stuff, you can get more beer. <laughs> because okay. you've saved your money. All right, those are done on mine. Yeah, Plenty my, done. I'm, I'm screwing actually, around here too. You got some that are done? Yep. What's going on with you over here? I've got this one on time. I'm bacon. Okay. Um, I'm done with mine for sure. And I've even gone a little well. So. I normally do. Yours is not done, honey. This is. It will it's, be. No, it's not. Look. Yes, yes it will honey, be. Honey, look. It's not done. That is. Done. That is super crisp. Yeah, this is oinky. I don't think so. I think it's going to finish. No, it's not. Okay. I've done this enough. I will take over this on the cooking here. A couple of pieces you have done. I want it to be somewhat brown there. I, you just that was like that. It. Well, you, you were it. not turning me up when, when I asked you to. I, you don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. Anyway, do you get the idea here? Um, I'm still not draining on the Blackstone with the uh, grease on the earphone. I'm still not draining. I'm gonna try to video this. It's definitely draining. There's a lot of bacon fat in there. The uh, right blackstone oh, right here. is right in the center here. You can see a ton of puddling, and I don't have any coming even into the well yet. Now, the thing that I have noticed with this big griddle, go ahead, mute. Uh, the thing that I have noticed with this big of a griddle is even if I have it very level, it's still when it heats up, it wants to puddle a little bit in the middle if you're frying something that's not so bad there you go uh, if you're frying something that's not so bad but if you're um, trying to get something like bacon grease to drain away from you it can be a little bit more uh, dangerous that's for sure Do you want me to take over your precious no. little arms are getting no but you could load up that one what do you want? roll bacon again so all I can right. just get it all finished all right okay so yeah I'm a new camp chef Alright, so um, my overall opinion is um, you get a lot more bang for the buck with the camp. No! You've got to be careful. Um, you get a lot more bang. You don't have the stomach for frying bacon. <laughs> get out. It's, well, it's still puddling and well. I'm not getting any drainage here, which causes me some issues with bacon on here. Uh, well. Oh man, that's really freaking hot. Yeah. Vegan. Um, okay. I can't do nothing. You're on I your know. own. I know. This is I'm, I'm going to just shut this off, it. and it'll be fine for the rest of the, uh, sure. the cook. It'll be hot enough to finish yeah. off the bacon. But it's really popping me, and I have no drainage in the mm. system yet. And you have to pay. Um, I paid a little bit more for this one because it was a stainless model, but I didn't right. have to pay any extra for the grease accessories on the camp stuff. I mean the um, two grill. Shells. Two shells. Yeah, and two shelves down below, and the legs self-adjust to um, the, uh, leveling. the leveling. Yeah, and now I know Blackstone has kind of supposedly fixed this, but I don't like the grease in the back. I just don't. I like to be able to protect it. And this right here, honestly, if I wanted to cook something else and I wanted to add more baking fat onto it, With I could little, take it out of the reservoir while it's by me. A little ladle. 
Like yeah, you and can you can put it back on. Now, I realize there's not a lot of people who do that because they don't really see your stuff in bacon fabulous ways that I well, do. I just don't feel like you're getting the full effect of the bacon if you don't use more on top okay, of it. Okay, so, and, right. um, yeah, you just have that on low yet right now, right, honey? Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm. There's all the puddling issue right here. And there's very, very little in here. So um, you can kind of see that I ended the cook, no bacon on it, no bacon from stopping it from running down. And it's still just all puddled right over here. And it's not making it to the drip issue. I do even have a thicker washer on the back side. You can see it on this one, so it should be tilting it forward. But it just doesn't make much difference when I'm cooking bacon. This one is the Camp Chef. And I have puddling here, but it's making it to the, dr the drainage system with no issues, it's not even being trapped in the reservoir. Doing a great job. Yeah, good product. So I just removed all the bacon from the Camp Chef and that is how much is in the puddle and I haven't scraped it towards it and I haven't done anything. Wrote uh, Blackstone about it a year after I got my griddle when I started to notice some warping. And they told me to put washers under the sides to try to make it level. I did that. It didn't really do anything. Um, except make it a little bit harder to well, contend with. It, it still, it still yeah. sags in the center. I mean, is it a bad griddle? No. My son bought this for me for a gift. It was my favorite griddle at the time until I started cooking on the camp chef. Um, it just, it works the way it's supposed to. You don't have as many little issues. Um, right. And it's can be I mean, if there's no issues, it's better. Yeah, I mean, I mean well, I, the only thing I wish that they did have a whole stainless body, but now that I have a totally covered patio, I don't think it's going to make that big a difference to me. I just think a, a stainless surface usually makes it longer than a painted surface. Oh, yeah. But the box of the Camp Chef, you already get as stainless to begin with, and I don't right. think Blackstone's is that way. Their um, lower grade model, I think is the painted surface down below, but I might be wrong about that. I don't know that for sure. So I hope I did a good comparison of showing you guys the differences hey, in them. Too. If I was going to pick, I would pick the Camp Chef. Um, I like a little bit bigger griddle surface, but most people don't use the whole thing anyway. But so, but I, I, it's, it's not so much difference. You're talking probably two to three inches. I didn't measure them exactly. It was about. I, th I think it's maybe three, three by looking at it. Three inches wider. But the BTUs from on, I asked the engineer, this uh, a 12,004 burner BTU is supposed to take it a little better and not have the warpage issues. And I have all the bacon off now, and it's all still over here. So I don't even have it going down yet. I have to get the grease off the griddle. Bye, Mike. Come. So that it can run down in here. And without that little doohickey, it'll run everywhere. But that's a lot of grease on there that didn't make it. Which is why it gets a little more dangerous when you're cooking on this. Not that you're not going to get popped even from this one, but you it's better if the grease drains away. There, with the propane. Yeah, the propane. The BTUs. BTUs. Yeah, I, each igniter. Yeah, each igniter. The Camp Chef has the igniter on each one. The, the, Grease drainage system definitely works better on this one. Now, I like I said, I know that they came out with a new model on it, but I don't like the grease back here. A surround that goes all the way around and it. I don't print. know what you would use it back here out that the much print. for. Um, yeah, I the print, it came them. off. I don't know if it will on this one. I'm tying to, so I can't really be honest about that. Because over years of grease being spread on it, there we go. Now Maybe get those away from me so I don't yeah. forget. Nice. Um, yeah. Um, you kind of get the idea. I don't think I've not covered anything. I think we got it. I think so. so Can you imagine the BLT I'm going to eat? Yeah, he's going to eat a big BLT tonight. So, mm. I think I've done a pretty good comparison, or we have, I should say. And I'll make up some BLTs for us later on tonight. Check Thanks for watching out. Mojo's Crazy Kitchen. Mm. My preference on the two after cooking on them now is definitely the Camp Chef. I think it, you get a lot more bang for your buck here. And I don't think you're buying a lot of the extras that don't come with the Blackstone. So I, I would say I'm, I've always been a little bit more about what's the best for the money. Camp Chef, go get you one. There you go.